Sylvester Ritter, or better known by his stage name Junkyard Dog, was born on December the 13th, 1952 in Westboro, North Carolina, USA. Growing up, Ritter would play college football for Fayetteville State University in North Carolina. He would graduate with a political science degree. Later on, he would enter into the world of professional wrestling. His rise to the top was quick. After working for a short time in Memphis for Jerry Jarrett, then in Stuart Hart's Calgary Wrestling, using the name Big Daddy Ritter, he moved down south and worked for Cowboy Bill Watts. It was Watts who came up with the junkyard dog name and gimmick, and he would push Ritter to the moon. Working with Ted DiBiase, Junkyard Dog became the biggest name in Mid-South Wrestling. Watts said that all it took to sell out an arena in Louisiana at the time was to have Junkyard Dog on the card. He became a gold mine. Success caught Vince McMahon's attention and he paid to lure Junkyard Dog to the WWF. In 1984, Junkyard Dog went to the WWF and became one of the most popular baby face in the company. Junkyard Dog didn't need a title to be over. As a result, he never got one. As popular as Junkyard Dog was, it seemed almost hard to believe that his time at the WWF only lasted four years before he left in 1988. He spent the last few years of his life touring the indie circuit, a shell of his former life, south doing gimmicks, matches with fellow legacy acts during what should have been his best earning years. However, like most wrestlers in the 1980s, Ritter had developed a drug problem. When asked, Ted DiBiase said that Junkyard Dog had developed a drug problem over the years, but he had worked hard to beat it. He even started going back to, to the boot camp style rehab center to help other kids. However, his addiction had caused him to lose his family. On June the 2nd, 1998, Ritter was driving home from McGee, Mississippi from his daughter's high school graduation when he lost control over his vehicle. The car rolled over three times and he died in the crash. It is unknown why or how he lost control, though some reports indicate that he fell asleep at the wheel. He was only 45 years old at the time. In 2004, WWE inducted Ritter into the Hall of Fame and his daughter Latoya was there to represent him. Seven years later, Latoya had died as well. She was only 31. Despite her young age, she died after suffering a heart attack while talking to her friend on the phone. Ritter was buried in, in his native North Carolina.